بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله أهل السنة والجماعة is just the Salafiyun are just they call it the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they call it the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they call it to the madhab of the salaf of this ummah and we believe, Ahl Sunnah believes that their minhaj, their methodology, their creed, the fiqh, all of that is beneficial and all of it is applicable throughout all time. Yes, we live in a different time and age. Yes, we have advancements in technology and will continue to advance bi idnillah ta'ala and have new masail, new nawazil. And that's why we refer back to the ulama of Ahl Sunnah to deal with those issues. The tariqah, the path, the madhab of the salaf is munasib fi kulli asr. It is the way in all times. It is the way in all times, ahabati fillah. No matter how much shubahat the people of Hizbiyah and the people of Ta'asim and the people of all these other manahij and ways who say that no, the Salafi, uh, we're looking forward and you're looking back. Now we're looking back to make Islam for this Ummah. Because the Islam, Kama Qala, on, uh, on Imam Malik, that La Yasla, Hadi Akhra Hadi Ummah Illam Bima, Salaha Awalaha, or Kama Qil, in a statement that Ibn, Ab uh, Ibn Abdul Barr, Rahimullah Ta'ala, uh, narrated or collected in his book, A Tamheed, which is a statement which Imam Malik said on, uh, I believe it was uh, al 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 Wahab, that he related, that he said this st statement, that the later generations of this nation would not be rectified except for what? Rectified the beginning of this nation. So Ahl Sunnah and the Tariq Ahl Sunnah is Munasib. We deal with all issues. We deal with all issues because Islam deals with all issues. That's the tariqa Ahl Sunnah. Ahl Sunnah because it takes their Imam, which is Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who dealt with all the issues, who gave us the tariqa and that which we don't find in the Book of Allah, and that which we don't find in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then it's for, and in the path of the Salaf of this Ummah, then our Imams of this day will make fatwa in ijtihad those imams who are grounded in kitabillah grounded in the sunnah of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and grounded in the madhab of the salaf to, to tell us because they know those principles they know what's applicable and what's not applicable and how to to make those uh to deal with these uh these new issues that we face by using those principles the principles are, are mojud so don't ever get it twisted don't ever get confused because there are those people who call and say they're looking forward and, and while we're looking back, now we're looking back, we're looking back for Islam because we don't see that finding a new madhab, a new way, a new aqidah, a new minhaj will benefit us and something other than what the Salaf have, have given us. But it takes fiqh fi deen on how to apply those things. This is what we want to say. It takes fiqh fi deen. <laughs> the Prophet والسلام, said, whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him thick understanding of the religion. So it's up for the alam to understand, okay, this is a situation in the UK. This is a situation in France. The situation in Indonesia is different. The situation in Ethiopia is different. The situation in Seattle, Washington is different. So we have to look at those nusuls and apply the fatwa this way or make another fatwa that's applicable for those people and applicable for that time. That's what Ahl Sunnah believes. And all of that is in con conjunction with the Sunnah. It's not going against the Sunnah. Nor do we say that it's li that the Sunnah or anything is limited. That it doesn't encompass those things. Because it does. But we have to realize that. We have to actualize that. We have to make sure that whatever we implement is in is, is in accordance with Kitab wa Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf. So if we want to start an organization, if we want to do a new type of charity, we want to do this, we want to do that, make sure that it's something under the banner 
of true Islam, Kitabillah, wa sunnatul rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa madhab a salafi hadhi ummah, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.